I got a whole bunch of like baby items that were London's and Mariah's and threw them together. So this is their a whole bag of that, which is awesome. I thought I lost like everything. Or not lost it, but I thought I sold it and like, you know, whatever. But I did have some stuff. So I'm gonna wash the stuff I have. I'm gonna wash the once upon a child stuff and the new stuff that I got from the registry today. So my mom sent over some of these, and I also have like the actual um, what's it called the gallon size. But I'm gonna use the pods because she sent me like three of them, so I'm gonna use them up before I get to the the bigger size. all those bags but I got all of her old clothes from um, her hand-me-downs from Mimi in London the new clothes that she can fit I actually did um, zero to three newborn uh, three months there's some nine months in there there's some 12 months in there and just like a tiny bit of 18 months um, like a tiny bit so the majority of her clothes are zero to three or three months but I did throw in a little bit of different sizes just to wash and put it, put away in her drawers. But um, I separated them all up. I'm going to wash like all the pillow-like items together. So those are all together. So this was London's old um, flower that we used to wash her up. So she's going to have that. And she's like just a whole bunch of shit. Like this is blankets, receiving blankets, um, swaddles girl bobby pillow covers um changing table covers just a whole bunch of stuff so i'm about to wash all of her things at the dealership switching out cars the dodge bag oh no more problems no more problems we cannot afford any more problems no more back problems. on today's episode of dragon ball z no way we are going to get blow work done so um yesterday which is annoying because i asked them like why can't i just come in when i come in and get you know my appointment done because I had to drive out there yesterday for my appointment and they said it's about the certain amount of days um, before c-section so today is the day that I basically am able to get um, blood work done and the last day actually <laughs> the first and last day that I can get blood work done so I had to have my appointment yesterday and have to go back and get blood drawn today so that's what we're about to go do really fast um we have the cleaning service here right now uriah is in there with them but i have to hurry up because it's 12 o'clock and um he has to take the rental back at five so let's go real long honey get his blood work done knocked out the way and then i'm really done with most of the stuff i think i have to get supplies um they're gonna give me some type of supplies they said and then i'm done like i don't got nothing else to do enjoy my last few days without any children without anything you know what I'm saying me and him like oh my god I can't believe it. it's literally getting down to literally days like right now it is um what two days two days I think by the time y'all see this I'll probably have posted it and stuff but yeah it's been about two days now um until she gets here and it's it's just crunch time like it's insane so yeah all right yeah, I'm, I'm done talking i gotta get on this road so i don't hit this traffic peace i'll see y'all when i get they know that you would never do the same for me never back. i wasn't looking for your secrets they just came to me looking at and it me furious mad disgusting you ain't him Derby. You're a construction worker now, bitch. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. 
one thing I love about this car, one thing this car don't play about is her, is me, okay? What are you doing? The car will break before I break, okay? Like, literally. It has some type of sensor where if it's close to another car, it's going to break. Like, if you're driving in a car and it sees that other cars are slowing down, it's going to break. So, before I can even break, it's going to break. Because I was just in traffic and it, like, it was seeing, I guess, I was, I felt like I was going too fast. I don't know. It had a mind of its own, honey. But, um, I was cracking up because I said one thing about this car. Is she going to break? She's going to hit the break. Okay? Period. So, I'm here at the lab area waiting in the waiting area to be called back and I'm about to get okay glasses decided they want to steal my face that's fine to you here to get blood work done yeah. last blood work done <laughs> I feel like soldier boy but backwards instead of saying I'm the first rapper to do everything I'm the last okay I'm the last to do everything this is it this is it this is all like no more of this hopefully no more no more of this because if i need something else it's gonna be a problem okay but yeah totally done i'm kind of nervous though i'll talk to y'all about that more later Labs done so now i'm on my way to pick up uriah because he had to drop off the rental the cleaning service they left right before he left so when I got home the cleaning service was gone and he was just over it like literally over it he let them go early because he was like they do not know how to clean and he like I'm just gonna finish what they didn't finish I wanted the fans dusted and like like a real real good deep clean and a lot of it did not get done like they just basically was trying to hurry up and get done faster and we're definitely not using that service again but it looks better than it did how it started so I'm not even going to complain about it because it's a blessing to even have someone um, clean for you so we're just going to let it be that and your ride is just going to hit the spots that I really need done. I'm using the car the car is great so I think it's good with that we're just going to get a car seat for baby girl because the car seat that we ordered has not came in yet i told y'all if it's not one thing it's always another also i don't know if i told y'all i was looking at paperwork they tried to say for my c-section that i couldn't wear makeup and lashes and nails and i'm like what so i reached out to my team the doctor's team and i'm like i've had it's my third c-section like I've wore makeup, I've wore lashes, I got my nails done, like, I've, I've done, I does this, okay? Like, this is what, you know what I'm saying, this is my sh and I want to feel good, and I want to get lash extensions, because I won't be able to really be doing my lashes and makeup that much, probably, at the beginning stages of, you know, baby or whatever, so I want to be done, like, cute or whatever, and she was like, that's fine, that should be fine, or whatever, so I'm still going to do it, okay? Even in my pamphlet, my paperwork, it say no, but I talked to the team, and they say that it should be okay, so it's going to be okay, period. Um, I might not get my nails done, I might just actually get my feet done and then get some press ones or something. I know I have press ones somewhere around this house, so I may just do that because with the hand thing I kind of understand that the nail bed thing they need to be able to like um put the monitors on your hands and stuff like that but other than that like my face my makeup my lashes lashes are like if you, something happens they gotta knock you out and you know they gotta take your eyelids shut or something like that like that's that's like okay like if something happens or makeup is just like she said something about if you're crying the baby's coming you're crying and it might get in your eyes girl i'm grown i'm a big girl okay if it get in my eyes i'll be all right my husband will be there to wipe my tears and wipe my face like i'll be straight but like don't tell so that should be an option like uh, girl it was too much so thankfully um they seem to, to not think it's a problem so i'm gonna do that we just dropped it off. We're at Avis and 
That's it. That's all. We need to stop at um, so This is weird driving this. Driving the car again? We need to stop at uh, Because it's like, Walmart. not uh, small. I hate getting down in that small car. Not small, but then also it just feels like, like the turning and shit is all oh. Because it was like, that car was like jerky. That is good. That's good. I mean, slow I is not good. It's not. That's not a good response time. I guess. That's what I'm saying. But we need to go to Walmart. I need to get um some Gatorade because that they want me to drink before surgery. And um, I need something else. I need to Damn. Idiot. Well, the damn car just stopped again. And it's in the damn street. It was literally just fine. I literally drove from my appointment. <sighs> literally just paid thousands to get it fixed. And now it's acting out. Again. And <laughs> having a baby in two days. And then tomorrow. Do they have full day on Saturday? Tomorrow, he has to go figure, I mean, either tow it, they, and then, this is not like it's going to take on fix it the day of. This nigga is pushing the car. Pushed it over here. I'm so upset, y'all. Like, we literally just dropped the rental off. I've been driving that car. It's been fine. Having a baby in two days. And we had the car since Wednesday. We had the car for two days already. It's been driving around fine. And then it just decides to do the same shit that it was doing before. So you mean to tell me that we spent thousands of dollars to fix a problem for the car to get fixed. And it's still doing the same thing. So he's about to go up there. Tomorrow Who knows how long it's gonna take. It's about it's the weekend. Um, like, look, I don't even know. I have like no words. Like we literally had to push the car. Well, he pushed the car. I was I had to steer the car really hard. I'm sweating and stuff because I had to steer it really hard with no AC in the car. Hot as hell right now in Texas, and we got it to park because it was in the middle of the street. So now to even, if it starts, he could drive it to the dealership, starts tomorrow or whenever it starts. But um, if not, we'll have to tow it to the dealership. That's more, like, it's like we're just, just tricking out all this money right now. Like, this is not, this is the worst case scenario to be happening right now, having car problems in the heat while days away from giving birth. Like, I just can't, it's like every single time I go to have a child, something happens, like, Days though, so this could have happened months ago and been an okay problem, fixed it, got it together. We would have had months to figure out what the problem was, set everything up, you know what I'm saying, make sure maybe get a long term rental. But the fact that we just gave the rental back, like this is so. I just, I can't, even, I don't even want to talk about it right now. Still sitting out there, but Uriah took the Camaro, he ended up taking the battery out of the car to take it to AutoZone, even though it's a brand new battery, just bought a new battery before all this stuff start happening but he's gonna take it to get it um to at least charge and turn on tomorrow so he could take it to the dealership pray for us y'all please oh my god i can't believe this shit